Welcome back. This next breaking news story is all about what happened in Maine. At last check, 16 people were confirmed dead. According to CBS News, 18 people were pronounced dead, and 13 of them got critically injured. My favorite reporter, Bradley Blackburn, has more on the details. Good afternoon, Bradley. Good afternoon, Bradley. Yes, good afternoon, Bradley. But according to the Maine Information and Analysis Center, he is not a trained arms instructor with the reserves, as previously reported. He recently reported mental health issues and threatened to shoot up a National Guard base. He was committed to a facility for two weeks over the summer. Residents were told to stay locked in their homes while law enforcement officers search for the suspect. Schools are closed and people who live here are shaken. If you or me and all the people sitting in here, we, we all got a fear for our lives. Police also released a photo of the person of interest vehicle that they recovered in a parking lot. Thank you, Bradley. When we're not on TV or anywhere else, you can get continuing coverage on the Lewiston mass shootings anytime at cbsphiladelphia.com. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, sweetie. An arrest was made after... Mr. Robert Davis did some serious damage to Mr. Josh Kruger. We're being told that he spent more than two weeks with Josh Kruger over the years. On October 2nd, he did some serious damage by killing him with a knife. That's not very good. Oh, I'll say. Anything could happen when people do some bad stuff like this, Penny. You just have to be on the up and up and see what's going on. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, my sister Penny. An implosion got underway at Beasley's Point, New Jersey, as an iconic landmark fell to the ground. This all took place at 10 in the morning, and we're being told that this investigation is quite unknown at this time. Thanks, Samantha. 